<laughs> yes. Next exercise. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Leo. I'm a coach here at Balboa Gym in Zurich. Together with On, we do a functional core workout today. I'm not a big fan of basic abs exercises because I think it's nice if you use several muscle groups at the same time. This is more functional strength because in the end, all of your body is connected together. If you want to warm up before this workout because you're going to use the wrists, we're going to have uh, our legs as well, do the warm up for a few minutes before we start with this workout. And now we go right away to the exercises. So, Exercise number one, we do all the exercises on the floor. We start in an elbow plank position. That means keep the shoulders above the elbows, more or less. Don't hang in your core. And we bring the right leg forward. Then we bring it to the left side, back to center, back to plank. Now we change sides. Left leg goes, turn out, come back, back to plank position. This is the exercise number one. Then exercise number two, we come on our hands, plank position. Very important, keep the knees close to your body, more or less below the hips. Don't go all the way straight. So we have to come closer. That means we have tension in our legs and now we rotate the right leg more or less 90 degrees out and we kick all the way through. So we have a rotation of our core. We're using our shoulders um, for stability and even the leg. We come back to center. We rotate to the opposite side. Out, in, out and in. That's exercise number two. Then exercise number three, we're gonna go for elbow plank position, side plank, and now you kick the knee forward, touch with your hands, and now you place the elbow that is in the air, here, in front of the other elbow, you can turn sides, and you kick also here. You come back, place, kick, place, kick. Important also here, keep your core stable. Exercise number three, we combine mountain climbers um, with a squat position. Mountain climbers means you have the shoulders above the wrist again, core is tight, and bring one knee forward, we cross sides, opposite sides, one, two, three, four. We jump up into the squat position where you have tension. Don't sit all the way down, keep the tension in your legs, place the hands, jump back, and we go again. Four times, we go up, we go back. We keep on going like that. And then the last exercise, um, again, plank position. From here, two steps forwards. We go into this tension position of your legs. We go down on our elbows. We push up, we place the hand where the elbow was. Push up, we step back. Other side, step, step, down, down, up, up, step, step. If you remember it, try to change sides. One time first, right hand. One time, first, left hand. Those are our five exercises. We're gonna do each exercise 40 seconds, then 20 seconds break. Then we go right away to exercise number two. So it's five rounds. After one round, we have one minute break. We can shake it off. We have time to recover a little bit. Then we go for two more rounds. So three rounds in total. Okay, I think you're ready, you warmed up. And we're gonna start right away with this core workout. Let's go. I have the time here. You're gonna see it there as well. I also have to look sometimes at the clock to see where we are. 10 seconds we start. Remember, exercise number one, elbow plank position. Okay, and we go. Front, side, center, back. So you kick, side, center, back. If you use the right leg, go to the left side. Left leg, right side. And we keep on going. Important, don't forget to breathe. Keep your core tight. Shoulders more or less above the elbows. That means don't lean too much to the front. And we keep on going. Side, kick, rotation. 10 more seconds to go. Kick, twist, back, twist, back. Three seconds to go. Great, nice. That was already the first exercise. We go right away, exercise number two. Plank position, knees below the hips. 20 seconds work and we kick through. We come back, kick through, go back. Remember, keep the knees close to the floor, close to your body. Okay, let's go. Kick out, come back, kick, come back, kick. Nice. 
rotation, back to tension, rotation, opposite arm, bring it up, so elbow goes back, back to center, kick, kick, nice, perfect, keep on going like that. Important, when you do exercises like that, try not to do many noise, much noise with your body, that means you control it even more, don't make it too loud. That means all the way, tension in your body the whole time. Five seconds to go. Kick, kick, and break. Nice, shake it off a little bit, shake off your legs, you're gonna feel it here as well. Next exercise, side plank, we're changing sides. Pick the knee up, touch with your hands, your knees, so now we're using the sides of our core. Let's get ready, three seconds to go. Up, kick, go through, kick. Keep the hips up, don't fall down. You can have your foot like this with your toes or you can turn it all the way. Up to you, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Good, kick, place the elbow, kick. Have flat hands here on the floor. Gives you more control to not lose the balance as well when I do this exercise. Kick, 10 more seconds to go. Almost there. And kick. Good. Kick. And break. Shake it off. Perfect. Two more rounds to go. We go for the mountain climbers to a squat position. And we jump back. 10 more seconds to go. Focus on breathing. That helps you a lot. So keep on going for three rounds. Okay, three seconds. And we go. One, two, three, four. Tension, jump back. One, two, three, four. Tension, back. One, two, three, four. And we go up. And we go down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And up, halfway. Two, three, four. Tension, and go back. One, two, three, four. Keep on going, 10 more seconds. Straight arms, very important. Don't bend them and break. Good, you're gonna feel your shoulders as well a little bit. So move your arms, helps you to recover. We have one more round to go. Then it's already the first round that is over. Um, plank position, two steps forward, elbows, we push up. Keep the knees close to the floor, get ready, and we go. So here tension, go down, place the hands, where your elbow was, go up, come back. Again, step, step, down, up, back, forward, down, step back, good, down, up, step, step. So well here, try to grab the floor with your hands, also gives you more control to not lose the balance. Step back, step forward, almost there. Few more seconds to go. And that was it, nice. So we have one full round of break. I Means shake it off, if you can, stay in motion. Very important, try not to do things like this. Your body recovers faster if you stay in motion. And I think it's so important to work on those core muscles all around here. Also, for example, for runners, when you go, you have to stabilize your body the whole time. So this is holding your body. And you see also when I'm running here, I use my legs, I use my shoulders. I get this impact from jumping. This is why it's so important, I think, to um, go for functional core exercises, not only these crunches here, because it's one movement. When do you do this movement in your everyday life? Not so many times. And you also use your spine a lot in the same dimension. So try to get inspired by this and go for more functional movements. So let's get ready. Second round, exercise number one. Hope you remember, elbow plank again, knee forward, twist sideways, center back. This time we go a little bit faster because we did already one round. Let's go. So you go one, back, forward, twist. So right leg, left side, left leg, right side. Keep the core tight, rotate, kick, good. Shoulders, move the elbows, hold the tension, and twist. 
Keep on going. 15 seconds to go. Good, it's nice. Kick. And kick. Five seconds. Two. And break. Okay, good job. Shake off your arms a little bit. Second exercise, remember, knees below the hips, sideways kick, back to center, kick to the other side. 40 seconds as well here. Try to speed it up a little bit, get into your pace, get used to the movement. And we go. Kick, kick, kick. Rotation of your core. Important, keep the knees close to your body. And let's go. The foot on the floor should be flat here. So you have your knees protected. Kick, good. Ten more seconds to go. Five. Nice, good. Stand up, shake it up. Perfect. We go for the side planks again. One side, flat hand, control it from the sides now. Kick with your knee, change sides, 40 seconds. Let's get ready. Kick, change sides, kick, change. Forget to breathe. Keep your hips up. Don't let them sink too low to the floor. Ten more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and that's it. Nice, good job. I'm also starting to sweat now. It's a very effective workout. Take it up. Two more rounds to go, two more exercises, and we have one more round of each exercise. Mountain to climbers to squat. Let's get ready, four times, up and down. And we go, one, two, three, four. Tension, back, two, three, four. Tension, back, one, two, three, four. Here, same. Try to not make too much sound when you jump up. You land with the feet when you jump back. Control it. Up and back. Two, three, four. Up, back. One, two, three, four. Almost there. Nice. Good job. One more round to go. Last exercise. Then we finished round number two. Two steps forward, elbows down up, two steps back. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's get ready. Five seconds. Plank position, grab the floor, spread the fingers, core is tight. And we go one, two, down and up. One, two. Remember, if possible, change sides. One time, right elbow first, other time, left elbow first. So you're pushing, not always with the same arm, more weight. Back, good, keep on going. 10 seconds to go. And break, nice. Stay in motion, shake it off a little bit. Good. Take your time, one more round to go. If you feel your wrists a little bit, um, move them a lot now during the break. It's normal if you don't use them often, you have to get used to it, because if you don't put every day weight on your wrists, of course, how can they be used to it if you don't use them? So go step by step. Um, takes its time, 
but it's gonna become much better soon, for sure. Move then, shake it off, also very important. And let's go, jump again. Stay in motion. Now let's go, one leg, front back. Keep it balanced here. And switch, left leg. 20 seconds we start with the last round. Right leg. Left leg. Okay, good, let's go. Last round, starting with the first exercise, plank position, kick, twist, and back. Let's go. Twist, good. Now give all you have, last round. Good, good rotation with your hips. Okay, 10 more seconds to go. Five. And break. Perfect. Good. Second exercise. The kicks to the sides, turning your body as well. Hand is flat, foot is also flat on the floor. Extend the opposite leg in the air, all the way straight. Speed it up. I'll show you one variation where you can jump as well even faster. Let's go. So here, jump, jump. Good. 30 seconds to go. Good, 20 seconds. Don't lose the speed. 10 seconds to go. Break, nice. If you speed it up, of course, first get used to the movement, do it very correct with the time, with experience. You can go for more speed. But the right execution is the most important thing when you do those exercises. Good, next one, side plank. You go for the kicks and go and kick kick twenty seconds to go halfway. Last 10 seconds. Five. Last kick. And break. Perfect. Take it off. Exercise number three. Number four already. Two. Round the climbers, squat position, and we jump back. Now as well here. If you can, speed it up. Do it controlled. Don't make noise with your legs when you jump up, when you land. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Nice. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Three, two, break, perfect. One more exercise to go. Step forward, elbow down and up. If you wanna make it a bit more intense, instead of elbows, you can try to make a push-up variation with the knees close to your body. Let's see how it works, let's go. Last exercise. Step, step, push, up, back. Nose to the floor, push, go back. All like before, down, up, back. You decide, you choose. As always, control the movement. Good. 
a little bit more. 10 more seconds to go. Back, forward. And break. Okay, nice. Good job. You've done it. Let's do one extra exercise. As a little finisher, we go for high knees, 40 seconds. Then we do all the workout, all the rounds. Keep on going, two, one, let's go. We go up, stay on the balls of your feet, knees up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 30 seconds to go. Also here, breathe, do the, uh, the correct movement. Control the landing. 20 seconds, last 20 seconds. Nice, nice, nice. Last 10 seconds. Five. And that's it, perfect. Good job, take a few seconds to cool down, to breathe. Walk around a little bit. Nice, perfect. I really hope you enjoyed this little workout for your core. Only thing you need is 20 minutes of your time in a day. You don't need material. You don't need a lot of space. As you see, only body weight. Two square meters is enough. That means you can do it for everyone at home, outdoor, in your favorite gym, in your hotel room when you're traveling. So be creative, um, stay motivated. I enjoyed it. Maybe see you another time. If you look for more inspiration, check out my channel, Leo Moves on Instagram, and stay motivated with on. Maybe see you next time. Thank you very much. Peace.